Charles Payne had a word for retail investors today, telling them to pat themselves on the back because while hedge funds and big money managers fled the market, retail bought the dip. What's up, Ape Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please smash the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. All right, let's listen into what Charles had to say. And then I want to mention a few things after that. All right, folks, if you can't beat them, halt trading. Shares of AMC and GameStop halted today, and now they're both lower. Oh, I think they're up now. They were all over the place. Listen, retail investors, pat yourself on the back. You devoured the dip as small money fled. I just hope they don't change the rules again. We'll talk about the best retail ideas also. Well, obviously, it's been a couple uh, a rough month, a uh, couple of months, actually, for some of the big names in the market. But retail investors, well, they bought the dip and the stocks that they're in are actually rocking. In fact, Goldman Sachs has a top retail picks list. Amazing gains. The Neo, AMC, Peloton, uh, all of those names on the list. Joining me now to discuss La Laffler Tingler, CEO, Chief Investment Officer, Nancy Tingler. And Nancy, wh what's your take? I mean, God, I mean, listen, I know Wall Street gets upset, especially when the so-called meme stocks go up 40 percent in a day. But we saw nothing. We saw hedge funds flee this market. We saw active uh, money managers flee this market. You and I talked about it every single week. And the only thing that only people out there that were buying it are retail investors. And, and their stocks are killing it. Yeah. Yeah, Charles, good to see you. And let's not forget, the average hedge fund manager was up 11.5% last year. So, and the market was up in the high 20s. So I think we have a new, sophisticated, savvy retail investing class, and I love it. Uh, and all I would caution is just to be sure you understand the difference between what you want to hold for the short term and what you want to hold for the long term. So we own some of those names in our portfolios. Amazon is one of them. And uh, I forgot the other name, Apple? but... Uh, Yes, thank you. <laughs> and so those are names that you can own for a lifetime. And you add to them in these periods. And then the Pelotons of the world. Listen, I love my Peloton. Great product, great company. Maybe not a great stock for the long term until they start generating earnings. In this rising interest rate environment, yeah. these would be more like trades yeah. than they would be investments. But I love it. You know, it's interesting you brought that up. I, taped, uh, I did the Greg Gutfeld show two weeks ago. And he told me that the Peloton changed his life. I mean, he looks absolutely phenomenal. And when someone tells me that, I had to go take another look at the stock. I'm with you. I probably would trade it and wouldn't go into it long term. Yes. While hedge funds and large money managers fled the market, retail investors bought the dip. My favorite moment was when Nancy pointed out the average hedge fund manager was up about 11% last year, whereas AMC stock rose over 44% yesterday and GME was up 24% in just one day. And yet, they will continue to call retail investors the dumb money. Meanwhile, we're going to continue supporting our two favorite companies, AMC and GameStop, as we stand up for a free, fair, and transparent stock market that offers a truly level playing field for all investors. And that does it for this video. Please leave a like on this video so we can get this information out to as many people as possible. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps us out tremendously. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next video.